Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today is a beauty haul and um, before I start showing you what I got, yeah, I do have a, a bump on my head, so please ignore it. I was really just not thinking. I opened a drawer to get some hair stuff out and then I realized like felt like my legs were dry so I was like, oh, I'll put lotion on. So I leaned over and just whacked my head full on on the drawer, uh, cracked the paint on the drawer and just, yeah, was really stupid. Um, so that that's what it is. So please ignore it. Hopefully by next week when I film again, it will be gone. Anyway, it is a haul today. I It's beauty. A lot of it's from TJ Maxx or Ross uh, and some Marshalls too in there. But I don't know if you have heard the news. You probably have. I posted about it. The body shop is closing all operations in the United States. I'm a little confused if that just means their website, because their website's gone, and like their stores, which there wasn't a store around me for quite a while anyway, or if they're gonna pull out of the retailers that are in the US too. So I kind of, I spiraled when I heard that news, and I was like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to get body shop again because they're pulling out of Canada too, um, or they're reducing in Canada. And not that I am close to Canada or that I've been to Can I've been to Canada once, but I was six. So I don't really remember a lot about Canada. Um, anyway, so I went on a mission to try to pick up some extra body, uh, some extra body shop items so that in case they are very shortly no longer available in the United States, that I have some for the f next few years. Yeah, there, there's quite a bit. So I have that, um, and we're gonna sh look at all, everything that I got. I'm still kind of looking, there's a couple more Rosses that I wanna look at um, in the metro area here. And then um, I might try to look at Alta because they didn't have any mango available and I really want some mango because I love mango. So we're gonna start with Body Shop and then we're gonna go on everything else that I've purchased because there's, it, it's a lot and I found a lot of great deals, like that's good. I need to stop buying things. So that's, that's the next thing. Okay, first up from Ross, I picked up this guy. I found this last night. Um, this is the British Rose Shower Gel and this is huge. It's really heavy. It is 23.25.3 ounces and it was $8.99. I'm not the biggest fan of the British Rose scent, but my mom loves Rose, so she actually ended up getting that for herself. And then I also found this guy. This is um a little set. It is the Lather and Slather set with avocado. And this was $19.99 and the packaging is like cardboard so I think I could pull out the zipper and just recycle it. Uh, made to be reused, repurposed, and to hold all those treats for your beautiful body. But it's very flimsy, like it's broken here on the side because the top and the bottom are like two or three times stiffer than the sides. So that's weird. Anyway, in here we have a creamy or cream body scrub. I've never tried a cream body scrub for them, so I'm kind of excited. It, it looks like avocado. It has a pleasant scent. I do uh, like their avocado. I was excited that it had a avocado body butter in here. And yes, I do check all of the things when I buy them in this like discounter stores, because a lot of times people put their fingers in them. And there's one thing that I'll show you um, that I didn't get a second one of because somebody had to stick their finger in. Then there is a shower cream, which I have never tried, so that's new and exciting. I don't like these, so I will pass along this little puff. Uh, and then there's also a hand balm in avocado, so that was a, a nice set for $19.99. This next thing I have two of, I purchased them at different Rosses because they only had one each. This is the Body Shop Boost whipped body cream and the scent is mandarin and bergamot and it's a lovely it's green but like a citrusy green so i do like it and it, it's a little strong it's more 
unisex I would say and there is a, another one of it so yes I did pick up one at each of the two stores that I found I'm stocked up for a few years like I said I love their body butters I use them as a hand cream I use them as a foot cream I don't usually slather them all over my body but if I wanted to I could then I picked up almond milk this was $7.99 so were those other two this one um there the other one that I saw had a like somebody had stuck their finger in it so I didn't get that one this one has a very light scent to it it's not the most exciting but I was happy to get that and then I did pick up another avocado for $7.99 $7.99 is pretty good for them because I think there were 24 full price at Ulta which is is crazy and then I got this one this is a uh, still a body butter this is a 400 ml or 13.5 ounce these other ones are 200 ml so this one is twice as much this one was $9.99 and this one is British Rose. So um, I'll probably use this one more with my mom. Ooh. And it didn't look like it had been, fingers had been in it, but it had shifted a little bit in there. So yeah, but $9.99 for a giant one was a great deal. Now before I went to Ross, I went to Ulta first thing and I was like, I wonder, and they had some stuff marked down, not everything, body shop was marked down but they did have their body butters so I did pick up a couple I picked up one almond milk and as you saw I got another one these were 1680 which was quite a bit but I did use a 10 off of 50 or no I used my mom's $10 birthday reward yeah and so I got that and I should have gotten a gift with purchase but I was not even thinking to like look through my email I was just trying to like make sure I got these before people really figure it out and they were no longer available. I should have bought two of this one. This is Satsuma. I love the scent of this one. Oh my gosh, it's Mandarin oranges. So good. Mm, mm, mm. I really, really like this one. I should have bought two of it, but it is what it is. I did end up buying two of the strawberry though because I love strawberry and I was very sad to think that I wasn't going to be able to get the strawberry anymore. Mm, it does smell good. So I do want to make sure that I'm rotating these through and using them because I know that they will go bad, but I also wanted to get as many as I could to enjoy for as long as I could enjoy them. Like I said, I'm still going to look at the other Rosses that are around and then I'm going to try to look at Ulta. I'm hoping that they have the mango available at one of the stores and if I see that I'll pick up two and I'll pick up another Satsuma I don't want to buy more than two of any scent though just because I I know that they will go bad uh, eventually and I just want to make sure that I use them up before they go bad so that's where I am I'm gonna stick with Ross for a minute I have a couple more things that I picked up first up is this Barbie and cake shampoo this was $2.99 on clearance and I thought I haven't tried the ones that I bought uh, a month or so ago because I'm using up some other stuff, but for $2.99, I thought I'm gonna pick it up and get it. I also found a raw sugar uh, kids. This is watermelon and raspberry. I haven't used the other one either, but I thought, you know what? That sounds like a really great scent. This was $3.99, so I did pick up that. And then this one I was so excited about. I have things falling. Uh, they had Pat McGrath brushes at Ross. I could not believe it. These were in like the containers that you have to, that they have to open, you know? So this is a powder brush. What is this? This is the Sublime Perfection powder brush. They also had the foundation brush. It was $18.99, but it feels pretty soft. That was crazy. When I pulled the plastic down, all the hairs around the edge went like uh, static electricity, but then they went back in pretty well. It is nice and soft. I think it will be good. I could see it as a blush brush. You could use it as a bronzer too, I think. So I was, I couldn't believe that I found uh, Pat McGrath at Ross. So keep your eyes open. All right, one thing that I found at Burlington, I was just trying to kill a few minutes and there was a Burlington. I was waiting to uh, pick up some food. And so I went in there and I saw this Barbie set of hand creams for $5.99. I thought it was cute got it for actually for my mom she probably won't use the hand creams they'll just sit here but 
she loves Barbies and we do we are collectors so there is vanilla cherry blossom strawberry and berry scented a four pack for $5.99 I also got a pack of 12 pocket back Kleenex and they're like super thick I've never had Kleenex that thick but there was like $3.99 for 12 pack of the pocket ones that go in your purse I was so excited I was like this is awesome because I, I do always have a pack of Kleenex in my purse and I go through them maybe once a month so this lasts me a year let's talk Target I picked up a few things from Target they had some clearance and I went a little crazy because I was so excited that these were on clearance it is the Biore pore strips and this is the nose and face so there are 24 in here you get 12 of each these are normally like $18 I always try to get them when they're on sale at Target or at Ulta but these were in clearance for $9.84 I want to say so I found two at one store and I picked up both packs of them I was like no I will use them so pick those up and I don't think pore strips go bad Correct me if you've had that experience that they've gone bad. Um, but then I found three at another store, so I did pick up three. I've already started using this box, so this is actually going to go in my empties, uh, which you will see shortly. So yeah, five boxes, nine nine eighty four each for twenty four, and I do use them. I know you're not supposed to use them like just for your chin and your, but sometimes I get I'm getting a lot of. Uh, blocked pores in here so I've been using them occasionally on my cheeks just to pull out things and you know they do hurt a little bit but they do I haven't had any skin irritation or anything I don't recommend it necessarily but I, that's why I, I go through them a little bit more quickly though I also found this on clearance at Target this was $2.99 it was $9.99 it is a set of four sheet masks so we have a cotton candy cloud we have a berries and cream we have a honeydew and a orange vanilla so um, excited to have those I love sheet masks I probably sh use them I have more than I have I need to start using them more that's what I'm trying to say so but those these look, look cute so I wanted to try them I also picked up this this is the tree hut dragon fruit shea sugar scrub Oh my gosh I was so excited about some of the new uh, sugar scrub scents this one smells so good mmm it's sugary it's fruity it's not like it has a little tartness but not too much tartness to it it looks so good I know I don't need any more sugar scrubs but I do like to pick up the limited edition ones one or two depending on what the scent is because I know I will use them eventually and they just they make me happy I love the scent of them I also picked up two things from the Revolution Beauty Emily and Paris collection. I picked up a lipstick in Camille, and then I also picked up the highlighter. They did not have, like, the display was only like half made up when I found these, so um, it was maybe not the most prudent choices that I made. I would have liked, uh, I think, maybe a blush instead. But I thought it was cute. I do like Emily in Paris. I've watched it all. I just recently rewatched it actually after picking these up. And it does say selfie ready on. This says selfie ready on it. There, you can read it over my forehead. This is what the highlighter looks like. It goes from light to dark. What kind of swirl? Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I was worried it was going to be a little bit darker than that, but that's really pretty. Uh, yes I I have a one other highlighter from makeup revolution that I actually like it was like I think a dupe of the highlighters but I wear it and I enjoy it let's look at the lipstick Kimmy is of course the French gal they had uh, Emily was like a red shade I think and then there was one for Mindy too but I don't remember what shade she was this one looks the closest to something I would wear it kind of looks like I have some other lipsticks that are like this I can't think what they are though so that's what it looks like um, let's do a single swatch underneath so it can be built up a little bit um, there you go I'm trying to balance the colors so I will be interested to try that one as well and speaking of makeup revolution I did pick up a couple things from TJ Maxx that I found because they were on 
at TJ Maxx for cheap. So first up is the Grease palette. This was $7.99. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Uh, Grease was actually the first musical I was ever in. I think it was the first play I was ever in, actually. Yeah, um, I was just a schoolgirl, like chorus, uh, dance chorus, actually. But I have, Grease is one of my favorite musicals. I like to play better than the movie. I know, that's probably controversial, but I do. Um, oh, they look so cute. Uh, let's do Look Cool. We'll do Looker. We'll do Love or Hate. So we're just doing a tic-tac-toe. And then, let's see. Let's do this two well, too pure. Um, see what that one looks like. Okay, nothing groundbreaking. They're pretty light. Um, they felt really soft though, so there's that. They have that going for them. But honestly, I just when I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, how cute is that? I didn't know it was shaped like a pink lady jacket, but very excited about that. And then I picked up this guy. This is the Minnie Mouse blush. No, I like this is the Minnie Mouse highlighter. I did get the blush before from this set. Um, I don't think I ever opened it though. Look at how cute that is. I didn't know it was shaped like that either. Um, so you do have two blushes or highlighters, sorry. Ugh, there we go. So that's what they look like. We'll swatch both of them. One looks more like a topper for my shade of skin. Yeah. Um, that's definitely too dark for my skin, but that top one is, is nice and would work out. I don't know if you can even see it. It's very, it's blended in with my skin really well. All right, sticking with TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I have a few other things that I picked up. I picked up a Rose uh, Foaming Hand Soap. It's just this little mailbox with hearts. It's, it was cute. It was on clearance for $3 after Valentine's Day, so I did pick up that. And I picked up two of the hair, skin, and nail gummies in Mango. I did get one of these earlier, and I haven't tried them yet. But for $4.50, these were on clearance. I was like, if I don't like them, I can always return them. And if they're sealed, they should be sealed. Yeah. Um, so I did pick up those. I do like these. They Are they my favorite gummies ever? No. But were they decent? Yes. So... Um, I did pick up those for $4.50, which I think is a great deal. I also picked up these Flawless Complexion uh, by Ollie. So these have uh, vitamin A, D, E, B6, zinc, selenium, and chromium in them. So they're supposed to help with your complexion. And I have been, you know, breaking out quite a bit. This one has just not gone away. I should probably go in and get it taken care of, but there's been no time for that. Um, so this one was $7 on clearance. And then the thing I was most excited about is some raw sugar scrubs that I found. So I found raw coconut and mango. These were $7.99 each. And there were some of these that had fingers stuck in them. This one smells pretty good. I don't know if this is my favorite scent from them, but I did pick up two just in case, um, even if I don't like it. Like, if I'm not in love with it, I know I like the formula, so um, I can get through the scent. And then what was really exciting was the watermelon and fresh mint, which I've had a couple of these before. They are so expensive, so $7.99 was a great deal, because they're like $15, $16 retail. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So I uh, did pick up two of the watermelon and fresh mint, and I'm very excited to use these. We'll thoroughly enjoy them. Last thing from TJ Maxx is a toothpaste. This is the Smith's Watermelon and Strawberry. It's a kid's toothpaste, but peppermint I have reactions to, so I was trying to find, anytime I find something else, I try to try it. Um, we'll see how I like it. I'm not loving the other one that I'm currently using, so this one's out of Portland, Oregon. Interesting. So it is vegan and cruelty-free, which is great, hopefully. Hopefully toothpaste is vegan. I did pick up a few things from my grocery store. The uh, Nature's Truth gummies were buy one, get one free, and then they also had a $2 off coupon. So I did get $2 off of these. These were $13.99 or $12.99. Uh, these are the ashwagandha. I did get two of these, but I'm currently using the other bottle because I got it, um, I, I needed them. And then I also picked up the multi-collagen types one, two, three, five, and 10. And these ones you take three of, so it takes, these you go through a lot more quickly. 
but these were also buy one get one free and with the two dollar off so i got two dollars off of three of the bottles one of the coupons she didn't scan right and it's it was fine i didn't feel like i needed two dollars off of free so um yeah i did pick up those uh was thought that was a great deal because that's actually cheaper than i can get them at tj maxx when they're like 7.99 8.99 there and then I picked up this guy because it was on clearance for 50% off. It was $4.48. And it is the CoverGirl Clean Pressed Powder for Normal Skin. And I got it in 125 Buff Beige, which just looks like that shade. So I thought for $4, I would try it. Um, the compact I'm currently using, I'm getting close to the end of. It, it, it's been on its last legs for a year, but I'm still using it because it's still there. But I just like to have it on my purse and, you know smudge it under my eyes like or if my sunglasses have messed up my makeup around my nose quick touch up there a few things from Alta I got these they had sent out a few coupons of 10 off of 50 some of them were for prestige some of them weren't I kind of mixed and matched on this one but I did pick up some of the tree hut I picked up rainbow sherbet or sherbet and oh my gosh this smells so good it smells like sherbet like oh so good I would love to get some backups of this one I don't need any backups but do I want them yes because this smells delicious it's limey it's mm. and then I also picked up Island Breeze uh, this one I was not as excited about it's kind of coconutty maybe a little sunscreeny it's fine it's not a bad scent at all it's not like overly floral or anything um, I will use it I just Compared to the other two tree huts I got, this is the the worst one. So I probably do Rainbow Sherbet, Dragon Fruit, and then Island Breeze. Other things I picked up, this one was my Platinum Renewal gift. This is, uh, two, not Too Faced, Tarte uh, Shape Tape. This is in the shade 20B Light. I hope this is the right shade. I think this is the shade I've gotten before. So anyway, Free shape tape, I had a few different choices, but this was the one that I felt like I would actually use. So I chose that one. Then I got another concealer with that 10 off of 50. I think this is what I got with, I don't know. Um, anyway, this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I wear the shade Light 2 Vanilla. This is my all-time favorite concealer. It is the concealer I'm wearing under my eyes. It's the concealer I'm currently wearing. Um, not up here, like that's a different concealer, but um, yes, I, I go through them on the regular. So thought I would pick one up when I had a chance to get a coupon. I might have bought it with this actually. This is no, or maybe I just picked this one up without a sale. Um, I had my NARS lip pencil and I can't sharpen it because it's so large. So I did pick up the NARS uh, pencil sharpener. This is the box. I just have been keeping it. Um, I did sharpen my pencil. So um, I noticed the new ones that they've done, you don't have to sharpen them. They're, they're twist up, which Oh, so much better. Uh, I, I feel like then I don't have to have a pencil sharpener or worry about it and I can carry it on my purse more easily. But I did pick up that because I, I needed it and it didn't work with any of the other pencil sharpeners that I have, at least here. Maybe the one I have at my parents would work, but not. I don't have it here. I also picked up a refill of the Dermaflash uh, essential set. So you have a cleanser in there and then you have four blades. I have um, I have been known to reuse a blade um, if I need to. I don't use them every week. This is like a four week. I use them maybe once a month, once every other month. So I don't dermaplane that often, uh, but I do use it occasionally. And then this is not from Ulta, but I did pick this up at um, a grocery, like a secondary grocery store, you know, they have overruns and stuff and they had peach sunrise and this smells really nice. The notes are clementine, peach and berry. They had uh, watermelon splash, which I do own from Body Ecology too. Mm. It's a little artificial smelling, but I still think it smells nice and I was excited. I got it for $2.99, which I thought was a, a decent price for that. Okay. Last thing is the free gift from Ulta. I put it in this because the sack that it had come in, there was an item that was leaking and it had goo all over a lot of the stuff. So I just threw out the sack. The, it was just a plain plastic sack and I put the, everything in here. So first up, we have a Lavender Mint Overnight Moisture Therapy from 
Tea tree. Is this from Paul Mitchell? Why do I feel? Yeah, it's from Paul Mitchell. I lavender is not a scent that I enjoy, so I will pass this along. But it is supposed to help with your hair. Pre repair, protect, and deeply condition damaged hair. So I have that one. That's the first thing in here. Then this is the uh, culprit. It was the Joico shampoo. It's the Youth Lock shampoo formulated with collagen, and then it does have the matching conditioner. So it leaked, leaked a little bit. There's still quite a bit in there. I'm not good. I didn't contact them because I just I I didn't want to be bothered. Uh, Dime Beauty Gentle Jelly Cleanser. This is really like this is a glass bottle. It's really uh, a heavy sample. So picked up that one. Then and it cosmetic superhero mascara I will pass that one along because it's not my favorite mascara I I liked it but then it started flaking on me so then I stopped liking it we have the Causar X master patch intensive with tea tree leaf oil and salicylic acid I do like these ones so I am excited to have another pack of those we have from beauty counter this is the all bright sea serum and again in a glass bottle which is really nice Good, good samples in here. From Way, this is the thick hair treatment mask. I'll pass that along because um, I, I don't really have thick hair. Leaving out for five to ten minutes is not really my, not really my scene. Then we have from Tinted Live. It's a Hugard three in one mineral sunscreen, moisturizer, and primer. So that's interesting. It's the right time of year to get a uh, sunscreen. Let's see what this guy looks like. Oh, that's a pretty good size too. Like that's a nice size. What does it expire? I would, uh, 2025. So I will not probably use this this year, but it will be put in my pile to use next year. We have from Lancome. This is the Advanced Genifique Youth Con Activating Concentrate. I do like that. I've used several of those over the years. Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser, Strengthen and Glow. Then we have from Clinique. It is the quick liner for eyes and it is in the shade Intense Black. I will pass it along because I, I just don't use eyeliner. Every time I think I will, I just, I never do. We have an LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Definitely will be using that because I do like uh, that. Moisturizer, 24 hour brow setter. This is just the clear, I believe, from Benefit. I use a butter knife to open all of my packages. I know some people use tweezers, but um, at least the butter knife is already dull. You're not going to be dulling it. So yeah, this is actually what I'm currently using. So I have a new one, which I was going to need to start a new one anyway. Then we have a Peach and Lily Rescue Party Barrier Restore Serum, which sounds nice. Um, let's see what that one looks like. It's pretty small. Okay. Um, ceramides and calcium. That's what I thought it said. Interesting. Um, you can use it AM or PM. Then the last thing in here is a huge thing from Good Molecules. It's a full size. It is a hydrating facial cleansing gel. This, um, luckily the stuff that was on the top didn't seem to have gotten the goo. So most of the boxes were saved. It was just like the shampoo and the other things that got really gooey. Uh, wow. This is a nice size free freebie. So that's it for this haul. It was a lot. There is a lot of body care going on. Um, I need to slow down on it. I know, but I was once body shop announced that they were closing. I kind of, I did a, a little bit of a spiral and I wanted to make sure that I could get what I could. So we'll see next, uh, haul. If I found any other body shop, you will see it. Then if you have a store near you, like a Ross, or an Ulta, you might want to stop in and see if they have anything. Let me know if you've heard anything, if you can understand um, better than I can, if uh, closing U.S. operations means like retailers, uh, secondary retailers as well, like not their primary, like if they're the primary retailer, like if Ulta and Amazon are going to stop. I know you can still probably get them on Amazon because all, all the other sellers, but I just don't really buy anything on Amazon. Uh, just very, very occasionally. Anyway, let me know how you are doing. Let me know if you've picked up anything new recently. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.